Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and welcome back to The Simpsons Hit and Run Playthrough. Three days it's been, three very long days. We are on our way to go ahead and grab a brand new vehicle. It's the final vehicle we can unlock on this particular level and I would like to go ahead and get it. Now it's uh, it's one of those ones where it's kind of difficult to actually figure out like it's Willie's tractor, for those that don't know, as I just get smashed into that vehicle right there. It's Willie's tractor. You don't buy it from old Gil. You don't get it via a mission. You have to actually go ahead and talk to Willie behind the school to be able to actually go ahead and unlock the vehicle. So why was there a delay? What, what, what was the holdup here? Three days without an episode. What's going on? So basically, my sleep schedule has been absolutely terrible. It's been so bad the past couple of days. I've fallen asleep waking up seemingly at random times. And yesterday was actually pretty good. I woke up early. Things were great. And then I fell ill. Now, without going into detail, I'm not talking about the sniffly kind of ill. I'm not talking about the, oh, I have a headache kind of an ill. I'm talking about the much worse kind of an ill. And right over here is going to be Willie. And so we're going to go ahead and talk to him. And we're going to continue off the series here, continuing with daily episodes. And I want to make it up to you guys somehow. Like, I felt bad looking at the comments of the last video and seeing, like, is there, gonna be, is there gonna be an episode today, Nero? This was a daily thing, it's part of my morning routine, and then now suddenly he's just not here for a couple of days. What's going on? I, 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 what can I do? Two episodes today? Um, this is gonna be going up hopefully in the morning. I'm recording this at 8.40 in the morning. I'm actually waking up in the a.m. these days. Um, Willie, what are you doing here? Yeah, I've got to sell my beloved tractor. My father's been thrown in the clink for football hooliganism. And I've no money for his bill. Well, I certainly could use a tractor around the house for hauling away Homer's empties. <laughs> That's amazing. 400 coins! 400 coins for Willie's tractor? Which looks like it's actually pretty good. Three speed, two and a half acceleration, really tough and handles well. But 400 coins? I don't have 400 coins. Goodness gracious. So let me know in the comments, what can I do? One idea that I had was to do like a, like a one-off video. I could do those gambling races. Would you, what are all you people getting in my way here? I could do the, um, the gambling races, but I would like to do that stuff off camera. I wouldn't want to sit here just, you know, you know, doing that over and over and over anything like that. But an idea I had was to do like a one-off episode of, wow, smashing into everything here. Of the Simpsons Road Rage. Maybe not like, you know, start a series or anything like that. We're heading back to the house here to talk to Bart, by the way. Uh, maybe not do a series or anything like that, but just a one off episode. Because, like, the games, the Hit Run and Road Rage, they came out, I think, two years apart. But just looking at, like, Road Rage versus Hit and Run is insane. Did Hit and Run come out for the PS1? Is that why its graphics were so bad? Because compared to this game, it was absolutely. It was rough. Now, go to Bart's room. It says to go in the house there, but I don't think you can go to Bart's room via the house. I just want to check. I want to see if that's like a new mechanic they've actually added. I don't think it's going to be. But, you know, loading screens aren't going to be a big deal here. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's good to see we have the, the gags back. But yeah, I don't think you can actually go up there. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. But I know for a fact you can go in through this way. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now... There is an image. I need to remember to actually put it. I'm going to try and put this in the description. It's a... F Why can't I turn? Turn left. You hear this? I'm it won't let me turn at some weird points and some weird angles at times. It's really annoying. But there's an image I found that kind of like does the entire layout of the Simpsons house. Now, this game, obviously, is not going to be exactly the same as the house. But if you go by that image, which goes off most of the television shows... Um, Right back here, it, this top window right here, that goes into Homer and Marge's upstairs bathroom. The window right here where we're going into Bart's room, that's supposed to be Lisa's. And then there's supposed to be another window over here, which is going to be Bart's. And this room right here is the Rumpus Room, which you only see in a couple of episodes. I remember, I remember seeing it in a couple of, like, the super early episodes. In fact, let's put the image on the screen. Why don't I just do that while I'm at... Yeah, all right, I'll do that via editing. Um, so the Rumpus Room was only seen in certain episodes. Um... I remember seeing it in, like, early episodes, like, going, like, what the heck is that room? I thought it was, like, Maggie's room or something like that. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it's an extra room on the house. That's kind of a cool thing. It's not an official image or anything like that, but it is, like, it's pretty accurate to the show. If you go, like, watch the show and then, like, keep an eye on, like, that image, like, maybe get dual monitors or something like that. 
um, or have it open on your phone, you're going to see that, like, yeah, holy crap, that is, like, a pretty accurate uh, representation of the Simpsons house and the entire layout, which, of course, does change occasionally between episodes and seasons and stuff like that, but still. Let's go ahead and talk to Bart here. Bart, do you recognize this design? <laughs> That's the alien mind control cola. They gave us tons of that up in the alien spaceship. They're using it to make the town go crazy. Oh, thank you. God, you snapped out of your trance. I was so worried. Later, I'm going to the arcade. This conspiracy <laughs> goes all the way to the top. I need a little extra firepower as Officer Marge. No, don't make me go buy the Officer Marge. That's 400 more coins I don't have. <laughs> Serve and protect, purchase Marge's police uniform at the Quickie Mart, Bart's room, or the Springfield Elementary School for 400 coins. I don't have 400 coins though. Well, it's nice to see, oh, you can move Bart around? <laughs> Hold on here, son. Let me just get you out of the way here. Can you push him out of the room? I bet you you can't, but I think it's kind of funny you can actually just go ahead and do that. All right, so, so what do here? Do I, uh, oh, Fowl has me standing on the freaking uh, motion sensor. Do I just go and do that race over and over? Do I do it off camera? Like, do I do a jump cut here? Do I drive around a little bit and look for things to potentially smash? Smashing into things gives me coins. Smashing into that doesn't give me coins. I don't know, man. I'm so poor right now. I guess I'm going to have to go and do some races. I'm going to do a jump cut here in the video, but thanks to your guys' comments on the last episode. I now know that if I'm going to fail the race, just to do a restart mission, that way it doesn't take away my entry fee every single time. So, him helpful hints like that. Wait a minute, I never grabbed these? Well, there's a lot of coins right there. It's helpful hints like that that really do make this series a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and... I'm thinking of a different area of town. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that we were at an area of town where there was going to be a card, and I think there may have been some coins in that particular area, but I was wrong. Hey, there's a... There we go. Where are all these things coming from? Did I not grab any of these? We may not have to actually do any races. We could potentially just drive around here and just grab stuff, it would appear. I don't know. Let's go further. Let's go in towards the power plant. I feel as though the power plant is an area, though, that I've gone through so many times that it's not going to have anything of real value. But I could be wrong. What if I smash with the Mako plants? That's a decent way of getting coins. Eh. It's a, it's a way to get a couple of them, I guess. Nothing really that great. Is, would there be one behind here? Nope, you can't even go behind there. I thought you could. All right, backing up. Smashing in the building while I do it. There we go. Oh, I was hoping to be able like very, very pro-like, you know, uh, back up, reverse, you know, spin, and then go perfectly into there. Am I going to hit this? No, I'm not. There we go. Muy perfecto. Where else would have, there's a gas station up here. There's Mr. Burns' mansion. I don't think, yeah, see the coins that are usually in here, they're not here. I think they, I don't think they respawn. They may, but okay. So there's the Springfield uh, gas station up here that may have something that we want. Uh, the tower I was talking about that has a card on top of it is up here as well. And so I think that, ooh. <laughs> I love how you always tip over in this car. Springfield gas station, nothing here, really? Can you go behind it? No. Because I'm bad at driving, Marge. Why do you gotta judge me? I don't hit anything in real life besides two deer. One was a Bambi and one was a full grown. I live in northwestern Pennsylvania. It's very in a very rural area. So there's just there's there's deer everywhere. There's a reason why deer hunting is a thing, because quite literally and I haven't even hunted in the past couple of years, but quite literally like if it wasn't for hunting, the deer population would literally be out of control. Like, they're already... Every, if I go out of town at night... I live in a small town, right? But if I go out of town at night, where it's like... It's just all dirt roads or it's just rural areas and such. 100% of the time, I see at least one deer. Like, standing on the side of the road, crossing the road, or anything like that. It just It's something that happens. Can I jump up here and make it easy? I can. Awesome. And then we get to kill that. How much does it get these coins without dying? I guess jump out and jump back. Oh, there we go. And then you jump up here and there's gonna be a coin. Or not a coin, a card. Wait, yes. there we go. The Homer Bowling Ball. <laughs> that's not my that's not my husband's name. That's my uh ball's name. <laughs> the episode where Marge almost cheat sheet on Homer. Check out Mr. Burns' mansion. There's a lot of popping in these old games, and so it only popped in part of the uh <laughs> area itself, which is kinda neat. Look what is <laughs> 
<laughs> texture glitches. Texture glitches galore. How many coins do I have now? Three, four, oh, gosh. 364. So we're still a ways away. Hey, there's a box over here. That's what I'm talking about. There's seemingly boxes everywhere. You still really look around for them. Otherwise, you may just have to grind uh, races and stuff like that. But I don't like grinding this race because the races are hard. It might honestly be easier. And this is something I think you can do. Uh, go back to... We only need five more coins. Go back to like a previous level and grind the gambling races there. Right? Seems like a pretty good idea. Can I smash that? Just grab the rest of the coins right here, and I think that should be all. Um, wait, did I see a box over there? No. I thought I saw a box next to the school. I think we already got that one. And there we go. Now, here's the thing. You can hiccups here. Um, okay, so we're six out of seven story missions. Okay, that's fine. I was, I was just about to say, if this is, this sounds like it's about to be the final mission of the level, and if it is, I don't want to, you know, do it right now, because we're going to miss out on Willie's tractor without having to go back. But, since it's not, wait a minute, wait a minute, I can just go back to the school and change. Since it's not, we're going to do this mission and whatever happens with it, and then hopefully be able to, uh, hopefully be able to get all the stuff we need to be able to buy Willie's tractor before we go into the final, final mission of this particular level. But at least we're getting some story progression here. I just love being in the school. Look at the little itchy uh, drawing. You have your skateboard there. I don't know what that guy is supposed to be. I don't know if that's a reference to the show or if that's just supposed to be a child's drawing. That's just weird looking. Easter egg? Gag? No, I don't want to do the fire alarm again. I think occasionally somebody will be inside the classroom there. I thought Skinner's here at night for some reason. It's like, we'll put Skinner in there. Officer Marge, so we need 400. Goodness gracious. <laughs> it just hit me there. Like, I was just, I was right. What? <laughs> we just dump our nuclear waste here in the school. Great. So Marge, uh, it just, just reminded me of the episode where Marge became a cop. And who remembers the part, for those that have seen it, where she's doing, like, the shooting training? There's, like, a trigger discipline training thing where, you know, these, uh, all these mannequins keep popping up, kind of similar to... It sounds bad. I don't know how to describe it better than this. Like, firing range in uh, Black Ops 1. Like, uh, you know, you, you have those little cardboard cutout things that, like, would pop up and stuff like that. So all these things would pop up, and you have to, you know, shoot the bad guys, but not shoot the good guys. And so she avoids, like, the baby, the mailman, the doctor, or whatever. And then after, like, she's done with the with the thing, she freaking walks up, like, eating a, doma, eating a donut, and it's like, you missed the baby, you missed the blind man, you missed... <laughs> it was just so freaking good. I love The Simpsons, man. I really do. I need to... I haven't watched any episodes in, like, a week or something like that. I think I just want to boot up Season 4 again and just watch it. I don't know. I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm one of those guys who I think a lot of you guys are the same. Really? I think a lot of you guys are the same way as me, though. Like, I don't watch TV as much as... What the heck was that? I just think he's popping up, and I'm not sure what's causing that, but... There's this epi- um, what was it? Now I lost my train of thought completely. Oh, I'm not somebody that like put, like watches a lot of television. I usually just uh, play video games and stuff like that. And so when it comes to, I guess I could just you know change my got the Bart's room here, but uh, I'm one of those people that doesn't watch a lot of television. So when I do watch The Simpsons. It's usually like as I'm going to bed, where I like watch a couple episodes or something like that. But um, let's go ahead and so what do? Oh, okay. He's all right. The Cola Wars collect. Or run and collect all of the evil cola cans before time runs out. Wait a minute, I have to run? And there, this is running music if I've ever heard it. <laughs> all right, so why do I need to be Officer Marge to run around and collect soda cans? <laughs> I mean, I'm down with the music. And hey, they actually made this park a place. You actually go to the park for a reason now. There we go. All right, so I assume I'm just gonna drop into this shard. All right, maybe not. Where are the cola cans? I feel like I'm passing one here. I am, haha. I wonder if me taking that time though is gonna mess it up. Or if I can make up for it by sprinting more. But maybe, I think that, excuse me. I think that there are so many, uh, so many of these cans and maybe it's not gonna matter if I do them in a particular order. Yeah, let's go on top of the quickie mart here. looks like a really good idea. And oh gosh, the constant changing of camera angles. Oh yeah, this was this was well worth this is a, well worth the, the. How did I grab you? Come on. <laughs> there's one. There's two. Going over there seems silly. Jumping down here though does not seem silly. Wow, camera angles. All right, getting on top of there seems like a good idea. Getting on top of the lard lad. 
<laughs> I don't know if there's the best. I'm sure there's the best route, obviously. There's always the best everything. Okay, they went. I figured they put one up there. Apparently, there's one between his legs, but not one up there on his shoulder or next to the actual donut. All right, cutting to the crusty burger here. I always call it a crusty mart for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm really looking at that timer, but I think we've got this. Yeah, we got six more. There's three in front of me. We still have a minute. Like, I think we're good. Although. I just grabbed, like, most of them from this area. Oh, wait a minute. Well, that's no... That's not good. That's not good. Well, actually, we're good. So, apparently... I thought there was more than 30. Apparently, there are exactly 30. I thought I could skip going on this roof. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, there we go. That was pretty easy. Does that count as a story mission? Well, yeah, of course. Up who's selling the cola. I love the Quickie Mart, by the way. Any episode... Why won't you turn? There we go. Goodness. Any episode involving the Quickie Mart, I like. It's like, hey, we're at the Quickie Mart. Apu, I think you should be aware that you're selling a tainted cola. Where's this stuff coming from? Well, there is little here not tainted in some way. Even <laughs> the astrology scrolls give poor advice. But I will get to the bottom of this. Well, it made Bart go crazy. And if I find the distributor, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. Careful, Mrs. Simpson. This cola makes people do irrational things without guilt. It is as though they have bottled the effects of a raging frat kegger. That's it. I'm going after it. And any other evil cola trucks I can find. All right. So destroy all the cola delivery trucks before time runs out. Stay out of my way. It's just to get in my vehicle. Does that start the mission? All right, the mission hasn't officially been started. Oh, I can't check and see. I I feel like this is like the... No, this can't be the final mission. Well, maybe it could be. Get inside my vehicle. Okay, well, I need to find a phone. Where, where, my, oh, there it is. My I'm, I'm looking at the main map. I'm like, my car is so far away from here. All right, so if I'm smashing into stuff, I want, I want speed plus strength. Hmm. Crusty's limo? We haven't, we, haven't, we haven't driven Krusty's limo. We've driven the clown car, but not the Krusty limo. So we'll take this. It's pretty much the same idea, I think. But, you know. Oh, this is actually a really cool looking... I, I can almost guarantee this is a vehicle we can actually get and drive around. Because they would not take that much time to design that vehicle without us uh, being able to drive it at some point. Like, the vehicles they don't intend for us to drive would be like the... Um... All right. You do all the damage to yourself, why don't you? Like, uh, remember the Bone Storm 2 vehicle that Jasper was driving? And how low res the Bone Storm 2 uh, logo was on the side? Like, they don't intend you for the drive that one. But look, at the, this is like Buzz Cola and stuff like that. Like, this is a, it's a cool looking vehicle. So I can always guarantee we're going to be able to get that as a vehicle going forward. All right. Hold on here. Aw. All right. That does it. I didn't want to have to do this. I felt bad for you. I was hoping to be able to jump there and hit him, but he went too slow for me. <laughs> you, you evil cola bottles and distributors. bottlers and distributors. All right, this thing actually drives pretty smooth. It's also quiet. Are you noticing that? It's like, uh, it's really really quiet compared to most other vehicles, and relatively smooth because it's not too fast. It's like pretty easy on the handling. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, the turns aren't bad. Okay, the handling isn't great. You, you drift a little bit longer than you would want to, but this vehicle's not bad. Kind of like this. I didn't want to hit and run right now. I'm just looking at the vehicle and messing around with it. That's all I'm doing. I don't want to hit and run. Now I got to get away from you. Now I got to get away from you. No one wants to do that. <laughs> you straight juking them out. We're at the mansion. Is that going to skip it? Destroy the cola truck. Destroy it while having a hit and run. All right. Well, the cola truck's going the other way. Ah, I was hoping to be able to drift all the way around there. I was hoping to be able to drift all the way around. That would have been so good. Wait, why is the cola truck going through Mr. Bird's mansion? What? I guess it's like actually utilizing this portion of the map because previously it just wasn't used at all. I had so much speed, and then that bump at the end killed all my momentum. Somebody told me to try smashing into wa these into walls, but just, I never found that actually working. It was an accident. This works, sort of. Look at you backing up. <laughs> Poor plant workers. And another hit and run, really? 
Yep, get, t just find me all my money. All right, minute six. Okay, so this doesn't actually take away from the timer or anything like that. I mean, I'd rather pay the 50 coins than have to deal with hit and runs right now, but this... Yeah. I was gonna say this isn't going so good, but the uh, the bar's pretty high right now. Bam! Oh, come on! Oh, maybe if the vehicle had more toughness, I would have uh, killed it. Excuse me. He can't get out of the way here right now. And this should be enough. Just gently tap it. Take out the last truck. All right, I got a lot of speed right now. And... No! I was hoping to be able to swing around. Everything would have been perfect. Stupid guy got in the way. All right, start driving quickly, boy. Let's go. There you go. And... Ugh. That wasn't very good. Yeah, I agree, Marge. It wasn't very good. Is he going to try and take the jump? Okay, he isn't. I was going to say, he's just going to land in the fire. All right. I need Mr. Truck here to get out of the way. And T-Bone! Oh, come on. Hit, that bump I hit took away a lot of my momentum. I'm not liking this, man. We're not doing so hot on this one. You know, I feel I still feel like we're we're making good time, but oh my goodness, he's freaking juking me out here. I can't back up. There we go. I still get so nervous whenever I do these missions, though. Cause I know it can snowball and just like have you do no damage a bunch of times in a row. And there's a good one. There's a good one. I'm now underneath you. I'm about to tip you over. Will that count? See, what I'm talking about like in spots like this, I can't uh, I can't hit him. I can do a little bit of damage that way. I, I caused him to smash into a car, but it doesn't actually count. And then, so he's got to take like these wide turns at it almost. All right, I think, oh, let's try and get that crusty thing while we're here. Come on, come on, back up. All right. Now he's got a little bit of ways away from me and that gives me time to get a little bit of speed, but there's also a turn right here. So maybe it won't actually matter. See what I'm talking about right there? Like you feel like that'd be a good hit. I had a decent amount of speed. I hit him in the side, but it's like, nah. All right. I'm just have to keep backing up and smashing him. Look, no hands. Yes, Marge, no hands. Ugh. Come on. This should do it. Nope. I'm telling you, the freaking game is so weird this way. Oh, come on. That hit did not do damage at all. You see what I'm talking about? Like the freaking hitting in this game is so stupid. That's like the one thing I don't like about it is whenever we get a mission like this, I have to do the whole thing over again. I'm gonna cut forward ahead for you guys, but still, man, like you get all this speed, you hit him, it's like, nah, you barely tapped him. Then other times like that, it's like, oh, big hit. I'm like, how's that? This game makes no sense. It just seems to randomly like give out hit points, I guess. But I'm gonna cut forward ahead in the video to when we're actually done with this mission. Almost done. Ugh. Doing some smashing here. I, um, uh, on my way around here, I've noticed a couple of spots where we can get a lot of coins. And so we need to come back here, definitely, before we move on to the next area. But I'm going to try and get a little bit of speed here. Come on, go faster than that, you jerk. There we go. And back into him. Nope, it's not going to do it. All right, let him go forward here. One, one little love tap should be all it needs, right? There we go. Now drive to the Simpsons house. We're no longer on a timer though, right? Okay. I have noticed the uh, the mission here actually bugs out if you get out of the car, but there was all the way back here somewhere um, a cresting machine. And there's also the barn that we get on top of and such. Like you can like go up there and get coins. Like I didn't notice it until I was like driving past here, like redoing this mission here. But uh, yeah, you can actually get on top of it. There are coins there, maybe even a bee. I was hoping that you were gonna slow down there, friend. Uh, psh, goodness gracious, everyone's just gonna get right in my way here. So usually you cut through here is like a shortcut and stuff like that, and everyone just kind of forgets about it. But yeah, you can get on top of this roof here, which is awesome. I hope I can get back in my car though. All right, you. You're so high up in the air, I can't hit you. Oh my gosh. There we go, goodness. So we're gonna grab this. Get on top of the roof here. <laughs> wow, you can go all the way up here. It's so cool. Can you like go on the other end here and get like a cool shot of Springfield? All right. Well, you can kind of see further away and stuff like that, but it is blocked off. And here you can actually see uh, the Bart Crop Circle a lot better than uh, that you can actually down there on the ground. Eat tomaco. I can't say. Can't say that I, I would recommend eating tomaco. It. Uh, Sounds like it'd be terrible. Oh, I can actually get back in my car. Thank goodness. See, I tried getting out of my car uh, off camera, and it did not work. Uh, I, I, well, I got out, but I couldn't get back in, and that was kind of an issue. We actually made the jump pretty easily there. 
So it was right around here. Where was it? I can't remember exactly where it was. As I was driving, I'm like, hey, there's a, there's a machine here. Oh, this is Moe's house. All right, we got we to gotta do this. I'm sitting there thinking, like, why is there a gag here? It doesn't make any sense. This is Moe's house, I think. I ain't opening it unless you have a warrant. Nope, it's uh, Nelson's house. All right, so it says, welcome to the Quickie Mart. <laughs> it has a placemat. Get banned. All right, that's incredible. All right, let's head back to the Simpsons homestead. I should pay more attention. That would count as me smash. Oh, wait, there's another house here. Is this one going to be Moe's? It says, yeah, it is, because it says Sizzlack. Wow, I was, like, stuck in the car. What in the heck? Yeah, this is most Sizzlack. Can't sprint on these stairs for some reason. Uh, don't come in. The doctors say uh, this thing could spread, so get out of here. <laughs> get lost, okay? I'm hungover in here. Uh, you might want to keep your distance. I got quite an infestation going on in here. <laughs> oh, these things are all over. Oh, these things are all over. I love Mo. You good character. All right. Backing up. So where did I see that? I'm, I'm probably going to forget it. I, I remember I had to repair my car, which was right here. And then, like, as I was coming through this area, I was like, hey, there's a cola machine here. How come I never noticed that before? But I'm not seeing it anymore. So, oh, well. There's another one somewhere around here. I'm just not sure exactly where it is. But regardless, we're going to head back to the Simpsons house here. I do think, where are we? Oh, I'm still technically on a mission. We, I think I'm going to have to go and do some races and stuff like that to actually be able to afford Willie's tractor. Because I want Willie's tractor. It's not as if I'm not going to drive around on Willie's tractor. I mean, come on. Come on. That thing looks incredible. One, it's a tractor. Two, it's actually got a lot of great stats. So it's like, yeah, we should definitely try it out. Wait a minute. Get away from Chief Wiggum. To my family. You took my precious cola, Marge. It's the only thing that gives me the courage to take off my shirt in the station locker room. You're going down. <laughs> well, that was incredible, but also incredibly easy. Uh, let's, let's, let's do a reverse shortcut here, shall we? There we go. How about that? Mission. That may be the end. I can't control anything. Oh, no, it's actually the end. No, I can't afford the least tractor. Well, one thing I could do, technically, is we can move on to the next level, do an episode... No, I was thinking we could do an episode there and then use what gold we get to come back here and buy, um, buy the tractor. But we're going to need that gold in the next episode regardless. So... Maybe what I'm going to do is we're going to continue on here. We're going to see what I assume is going to be a cutscene. And it's going to take us on to the next level. And then we're going to end off the episode. And off camera, I'm going to go back to Marge's level here. And I'm going to do that race uh, in front of the school. That gambling race. Do that a couple times. Get enough uh, money. And then at the start of the next episode, we're going to buy Willie's tractor. And then move on to the next level. Does that sound good? All right. We'll do it that way. And would I like to save the game? Yes, I would. That would be absolutely fantabulous. Do not touch that. There we go. All right. No cutscene for this one. Exciting new cola gains popularity. Cola is great, says Cola Institute. Annoying housewife. I think it's read it all. All right. And so here we are playing as a poo. You didn't see that coming, did ya? I mean, some of you guys did because you played the game before. But uh, yeah, a poo, playable character. This is going to be Bart's area, but nighttime. Of course, things are going to be different. I love how I can just meditate like that. I don't think I should be able to do that exactly. Let's run up here really quick, though, because I can't help but notice old Gil's already here. So we can get a look at our vehicles that we can purchase anyway. The wolf is at old Gil's door. Police car. All right. Look at the stats on that thing. Goodness. <laughs> Four speed, almost four acceleration, four... Oh, my gosh. Then you got the cola truck. I knew we'd be able to buy the cola truck. This one's more high res, though. Uh, wow, no acceleration, but all the toughness. All right. So that's pretty freaking cool. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of the Simpsons Hit Run playthrough, the triumphant return, as we go ahead and uh, smash this buzz cola box here. If you guys did enjoy the video, please drop me a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.